welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking a little bit about our journey and how we got into the real estate market so kevin and myself have been together for about six years now and it has always been our dream to get into the market as it is a lot of australians out there so ever since i was young i used to live down the road from display home so i would be there all the time going through picking out my favorites and stealing all their floor plans so I probably hated the little blonde girl walking down the street but it just it was just my passion and I absolutely loved it which is why I started real estate at 17 years old so I was working in general real estate for quite a few years and actually we actually bought our first block of land while I was in general real estate so it was happened we were at a friend's house and she owned her own home and it kind of was a wake-up call for us because we were like, this is our dream and we're not doing anything about it. And we were just spending money and we looked back onto our, on our bank statements and worked out where our money was actually going. And especially for me, a lot of my money was going to new clothes, which I loved and it did make me happy. But my end goal was more important to me than wearing nice clothes every day which I had nice clothes anyway. And both of our money, we did go out a lot. So we did go out and go out to dinner and go out for lunch and all those kind of things quite a bit, which we probably didn't need. So we did cut back on that as well. So what I did was just avoid the shops. I didn't go anywhere near them because I knew if I did, I would get sucked in and I would buy clothes or buy whatever I wanted. We on a figure that we could both comfortably put in as well as live a normal life. Um, so we both put in the exact same amount every week to a separate savings account that we could both access and just kept it in there and did not take money out of that account. We actually had it so we could only access the money if we both went into the bank and signed to get the money out. So it wasn't just as easy as transferring money back into your, your spending account. It was actually really hard to get that money out, so it was easy not to spend it. Around November 2018, that I got a text message from Waddington Park Estate. So we've been looking at that estate for about a year, and we're really keen on buying in there, just because you know all the blocks are flat. It's still so close to everything. The prices were cheaper, and it just had a really really nice community feel to it, and it was really family friendly. And we want somewhere where. You know we can grow a family and feel like comfortable and feel like it's at home so we had we definitely knew where we wanted to be they released just released their new set of blocks so i gave them a call and we ended up putting a block on hold before we even knew if we could borrow the money or not the bank call straight away and i just asked do you think that we might be able to borrow this amount of money um, and they were quite positive and they said yeah like it really looks like you can we just wouldn't be able to build straight away so we were happy with that and we put the sole sticker up and then we we're just straight back into our savings so we did buy a land that was unregistered so we didn't have to start paying our mortgage repayments straight away which really really helped us because we could just keep saving constantly. So we pretty much stopped life and just saved. And it was, we'd save for about three to four months really heavily. And then we went back to the bank and said, are we able to borrow for the house now? And they said, yep, definitely perfect. So that's when we went out, looked at houses. Well, we're looking at houses the whole time anyway. But we narrowed it down and decided on the Moscato 4 with the Beachwood. First home buyer as well, especially like in New South Wales, Australia, you do get the first home buyer's grant, which I can tell you it does help a lot. So you get 10 grand and then you also don't have to pay stamp duty. So it's a really, really amazing incentive. And it's definitely one reason why we also decided to buy land and build because you don't get that 10 grand grant if you buy an existing home you have to build your own home when we were looking for land and we were saving at the beginning um, we were tossing up whether to buy an existing home or whether to build our own home and I was in general real estate then and I was 
selling houses in older estates for the same price that we were going to be getting a brand new four bedroom, two bathroom, double garage with two living areas. So it was really non-questionable for us and we were making equity straight away. And that's what you want in real estate. You want to make equity so then you can buy your next home, which is what we're trying to do now. We're just back onto the saving boat and trying to get into our next our next investment. When we were building, um, I actually changed jobs. So now I'm working for the developer and I'm selling the land in Wadigan Park just because I am so passionate about it. I did it and it was the most amazing experience for me. And now that I'm living here, I absolutely love the estate. It's just so family friendly and it's exactly what we imagine it to be. So if you are looking at buying land or if you do want just a few tips um, on how we did it, just give me a call on 0458 932 888 and I'll be more than happy to chat with Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. Like, comment and subscribe. I've got a lot of exciting things coming, um, a lot of house related things because that's my passion. Um, but I'll catch you next time. Bye.